Hello everyone, this is Sandhya. I'm data science enthusiast at Alma Better and this is my capstone project, transforming EDAs to dashboard. This is from module data visualization tools. In this challenge, I leveraged a data set of my choice, which I had previously analyzed during the exploratory data analysis project in Python. It was global terrorism analysis. The global terrorism database, it is an open source database, including information on terrorist attacks around the world from 1970 through 2017. The global terrorism database, it includes systematic data on domestic as well as international terrorist incidents that have occurred during this time period and now includes more than 180,000 attacks. I have designed an interactive and informative W dashboard using data set that was used during EDA. The dashboard effectively conveyed insights, trends, and key findings from the data, making it accessible and understandable for a diverse audience. In this project, I'm going to analyze global terrorism data set. This data set contains information of terrorist activities and terrorist attacks, which includes the number of attacks per year, countries via number of attacks, weapons used and target of terrorist. <clears throat> Move to the objective. The objective of this project is to explore and analyze the data to discover key findings pertaining to terrorist activities. So I have studied the source and do some quick research and understand more about the data set. The first and most important thing is to clean the data, then prepare the data for processing and analysis, perform data pre-processing to manipulate the data, for analysis and draft out targeted tables for analysis. Analyze the data more deeply and extract insights. The problem areas I have explored, these are, there are, I have explored six questions based on the global terrorism data set. The reason why a number of attacks. Then attacks of countries, like how many attacks happen in a particular country, then most frequent target of terrorist, number of attacks with number of killing, most frequent weapons used by terrorist, and visualization of attack by each year and forecasting. So why I have chosen this <clears throat> topic? Because I have done my master's in defense and strategic studies. And in the master's, it was my thesis topic, how to deal with the terrorist activities. So that's why I have chosen this topic. Yeah, now move to the Tableau dashboard. This is the dashboard of my W, Global Terrorism Analysis Dashboard. Now, one by one, I'm going to explain each worksheet. Yeah. So the first worksheet, it's about reason why a number of attacks. Means how many attacks happened in a particular reason. So for this, I have chosen horizontal bar chart. Because in horizontal bar chart, we can easily understand the number and the order. As we can see, Middle East and North Africa, it has most number of or the number of successive attacks, which are 44,390. Then South Asia, then South America, Sub-Saharan Africa, West Europe, and at last, Australia and the ocean. And as we can see, 
in the left corner each and every region it is represented by the different color so in this horizontal bar chart we can clearly see the reasons and the number of successive attack second this is the map <clears throat> in this map we can clearly understand the number of attacks happen in particular countries yeah so in the country canada the number of successive attack it is 75 russia number of successive attack 108000 sorry 1810 and as we can see the reason which is extremely dark as you can see lebanon so it has most number of successive terrorist attack which is 2182 so each and every country we can see the number of successive terrorist attack in countries this is the bar chart in the bar chart we can clearly understand the most frequent target of terrorist so in the first bar we can see the first target of terrorist is private citizens and property then military then police business government transportation utilities and in the left corner we can see <coughs> each number of target type represented by the different color so that we can we can easily understand the target which is the most frequent target of the terrorist because bar chart in the bar chart we can clearly understand the data <clears throat> next come to the combined chart this is the combined chart of bar and the line chart because in this the number of attack with number of killing by year i have explained as we can see the number of year 1970 the attacks happened 2726 and if i'm yeah this this red line this red line represent number of killing so we can see in year 1984 the number of killing is 10450 and as we can see it is sometime decreasing and then increasing and most number of killing it happened in 2014 the number of killing 44490 so in this combined chart we can clearly see in which year how many attacks happened and in which year how many number of or number of killings happened next come to the most frequent used weapon in terrorist attacks this is the pack bubble chart in the pack bubble we can clearly understand according to the size that which weapon frequently used by the terrorist as we can see explosive it has the large size and it clearly saying that the number of most number of time explosive used by the terrorist then firearms then there are others pack bubble in pack bubble we can clearly understand <clears throat> the most frequent used weapon in the terrorist activities by the terrorist and then we are having visualization of attack by each year and forecasting in this line chart we can clearly see in 1970 the number of attack 2726 and then it is increasing and in 2014 most number as we can see 57236 and then what is forecasting forecasting means the estimated means because we are having the data set from 1970 to 2017 
and after 2017 we can see the estimated forecasting means the future attacks this is the estimated not the actual so line chart <coughs> in this line chart we have visualized two things first the number of attacks per year the actual number of attacks per year and after that from 2017 to till 25 the estimated number of attacks per year and now this is the tableau dashboard <clears throat> as i have organized all the chart one by one and total i have six chart which i have already explained in the worksheet as this is the number of countries and number of successive attacks and then combine chart number of attacks with number of killing by year the red line it shows the number of killing per year and the bar chart it shows how many attacks happened in that particular year then most frequent used weapon by the terrorist this is the explosive and then reason why a number of attack middle east and north africa it is the reason <clears throat> which has most number of successive attacks 44319 and then south asia south america next most frequent target of terrorist the most frequent target of terrorist is the first terrorist the first target of terrorist is private citizens and property as we can see because these are the very fragile target of terrorist that's why terrorist attack private citizens and property because it affect the whole country then military then police business government transportation utilities and so on at last the visualization of attack by each year and the forecasting as we can see the number of attack and year from 1970 2017 and then after that we are having estimated year means in which year how many number of attacks may happen this is the estimated one so this is the global terrorism analysis dashboard thank you so much for having me thank you